hello there and welcome to the new video where i will show you one more trick related to finding the missing values in python so this trip and trick is coming from my book the python handbook where i have given you the 15 sorry the 25 different tips and tricks that is related to finding the missing values in you know different scenarios or the different uh, context in which you may want to figure it out so these are the like, 25 different scenarios of finding the nulls or sometimes the opposite of not null values into this into your data set so what i am covering today i will be showing you at a data set level how you can get a count where you can identify how many null values are present so that means at a data set level how you can get how many values are missing a single count number because sometimes it is necessary from an information perspective as to how many values are actually missing whether they are in different rows or in different columns but you want to know what the final count is all right and before i move ahead the link to get this book is present in the description so if you want to get it go ahead and get it from that link all right, so what I have is this sales data set, which has some missing values and I'll create one cell for me over here. So first thing is we were going to import the pandas library and we were going to execute this file to read this file, which is sales. And to get the, uh, to get the file count, it's basically a quick trick, like I said. So first thing is we were going to mention the function is null which basically gives us the true fall true false value and then the sum which will give us the sum in in the different rows or in different columns but then we will again use this function sum to get the final count of those values right and that's basically a quick trick i wanted to show you that after one sum when you add one more sum what it will give you is basically the 63 is your count the number of missing values within the python so like this i have these snippets or the code snippets within this handbook which you can keep it handy and in a situation where you need to figure it out the null values or not null values you can use it uh, very quickly so that's very quickly about uh, about this quick tip and trick from this book and i hope you enjoy it so i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic